When you're in the streets, shootings happen every day. But the difference between these new gangsters and the ones that came before them is that now rappers show the whole world what they're doing on social media. So when something really goes down, it's often caught on vid. Here's a look at a few rappers who have been run up on by ops while on IG Live. Snapdog. Snapdog is a rapper from Detroit, Michigan, known for tracks like Pull Up and My Story. The rapper blew up in the late 2010s for video clips that showed his real life in the streets of Detroit, including a video where he got into a shootout with Ops on IG Live. Growing up, the rapper got involved in a drug game to help his mom after his dad went to prison. His father was a well-known drug dealer in the city who had a crew called Four Spot Boys and at one point was making 15k a day. The rapper also had a twin brother who was shot and killed by a retired cop after an attempted home invasion. When he was 17, Snapdog got locked up and was facing 25 years, but eventually beat the case. So, after the death of his brother and almost being locked up, the rapper decided to start taking music more seriously. Snapdog was inspired by Chicago artists like Chief Keef and Lil Durk and started making his own Detroit version of drill music. The music ended up taking off and Chief Keef was one of the first artists to reach out to him. He ended up signing to the rapper's Glow Gang label and stayed with him in LA for about a year. Part of what helped Snapdog's music take off was the viral videos he uploaded that showed him going crazy in the streets. The first one was a video shoot where the rapper popped out of a car and shot real guns. The video shows Snapdog roll up in a car, pop out, and scream before letting off four shots. It's clearly a video shoot because there's a photographer right there, but minutes later, the police show up and start chasing him. They end up shutting down the whole video shoot and arresting everyone standing on the front lawn, including the production crew. In another clip, the rapper can be seen getting into a shootout on IG Live. The video starts out with the rapper and his friend standing on the block, screaming into the camera. In the distance, someone can be heard yelling, who's Snapdog? And the rapper replies by shouting back, nigga, I'm Snap, nigga, what's happening? I'm Snap, what's happening? Seconds later, you see him drop the phone and start firing a pistol in the direction of his ops, while fans are still commenting in the feed. These viral clips helped attract people's attention to the rapper's music, but he later admitted that it got a bit out of hand. He started attracting attention to the police and made it hard to move around. But part of what helped the rapper build a fan base was how crazy he was and that he didn't care to record and post it all. But if you thought that was crazy, this next rapper got into a shootout with Ops outside a barbershop while buying a Kobe Bryant jersey. Honeycomb Brazy Honeycomb Brazy is a rapper from Mobile, Alabama who signed a rap a lot of records. Although the rapper has racked up millions of views on songs like Freestyle and Dead People, Brazy is better known for his activities in the streets than his music. The rapper grew up in a rough part of Alabama and started getting arrested at just 10 years old. Even though he's only in his late 20s, he's already spent over 10 years behind bars and has been shot multiple times. He even got into a beef that got so out of control, his grandparents were murdered and had their house set on fire by a man who allegedly has connections to the cartel. Leela and Tony Lewis and were the head of their families. And we've also learned that they are the grandparents of local rapper Honeycomb Brazy. Check out our previous video on Honeycomb Brazy for more info on his criminal history and past. Back in 2016, the rapper allegedly shot one of his childhood friends, Ladarius Stank Moore, after Stank showed up at his girlfriend's apartment and found Brazy there. The rapper was supposedly just there to sell her weed, but an argument broke out and Stank ended up dead. Brazy beat the murder case, but after that, he became one of the most hated dudes in his hood because Stank was well known and well loved in the city. Ever since, Brazy has had a target on his head and has been shot at by Ops several times. In November 2020, the rapper went to go purchase a Kobe Bryant jersey in Montgomery County, which is about two hours from Mobile. Brazy was sitting in a parked car outside a barbershop with his homies, showing off his new purchase to fans on IG Live, when suddenly, gunshots start going off. The screen goes black, and you can hear more shots going off in the background. Brazy was not injured in the shooting and later released the surveillance footage from outside the barbershop to show another angle of what happened. The footage shows a gray BMW slide past them and continue driving. A few seconds later, the rapper's crew starts ducking behind the car and reaches into the back seat to grab their guns. 
They all start letting off shots, and at one point, a dude in the driver's seat jumps out and starts running toward the other car, which is somewhere off camera. Somehow, no one was hit, but it does show that Brazy's crew is ready for smoke at any moment. If you thought that was crazy, this next rapper was on IG Live saying that his ops weren't outside trying to play, only to get shot at seconds later. Spider D Spider D is a rapper from Chicago who's affiliated with the Black Disciples. Fans of drill music will know that the BDs have been dominating the music scene in Chicago since drill first blew up back in the early 2010s. Rappers like Chief Keef, Lil Durk, and King Von all rep the BDs and the gang has a way bigger influence on the music industry than their rivals, the Gangsta Disciples. But in the streets, it's more evenly matched and the two gangs have been at war since the 90s. Most drill rappers tend to rep either GD or BD and the music only escalates the beef. Spider D is a rapper from the Wild Hunnids on the south side who reps the BDs. He started making music back in 2017 and has slowly built a buzz over the past few years. He's known for tracks like Listen Here Part 1 and 2 and It's Up There. But what really put Spider D's name in the news was when he was shot at on IG Live while talking to fans about the release of his new project. Spider D has said in interviews that his homies encouraged him to rap because the ops were always making diss tracks and they had no one in their crew to respond. And Fona was always begging me to uh, drop music and because our ops was always dropping diss songs and all that shit. But I'm like, man, nah, man, f But I started, my, I dropped my first video with what? Uh, it was 420, 2017. That's when I dropped my first video. Although that's not the only reason he started rapping, in Chicago, the rap scene is always mixed with gang culture in some way. In May 2021, the rapper was doing an IG live session where he was chopping it up with fans and talking about releasing new music. At some point, the rapper changes the subject and starts talking about his ops. In the video, he unzips his shirt to show that he isn't wearing a bulletproof vest and says, you know what they say about them with a hoodie on in the summertime, he ain't trying to play. Seconds later, gunshots start going off and the video starts getting blurry as the rapper runs to avoid getting hit. Right up. As he's running away, you can see that he also has a gun in his hand. According to internet rumors, before getting shot at, Spider D dissed a dude by the name of g -Ski from a GD set called Lick Gang who was recently killed. It's not clear if that's the reason that his ops decided to pull up on him at that moment or if they just happened to get the drop. Either way, they were coming for Spider D. Thankfully, it doesn't seem like Spider was hitting the shooting, but it does show that with social media, the payback can be instant and you could be dissing your ops one minute and running for your life the next. This next rapper was shot on IG Live while talking to his homie after they both disrespected the Nipsey Hussle mural in LA. Indian Red Boy Indian Red Boy is a rapper and gang member associated with the Inglewood family Gangsta Bloods. The rapper recently made headlines after he was shot and killed while on IG Live talking with his friend Capone, another member of IFG. Jeff and Susie, we're off of Chandran Avenue in the city of Hawthorne, and you can see Hawthorne PD. Uh, they are wrapping up their investigation here, still taking some photographs. We watched the coroner just a wheel the body away. It is a male in his 20s uh, that was shot and killed inside this car. There are a lot of bullet holes inside that windshield we zoomed in earlier. Although there are several theories as to why Indian Red Boy was killed, many have speculated that it has something to do with Capone the face in the famous Nipsey Hussle mural in South Central LA. Nipsey Hussle was a member of the Rolling 60s Crips who were known to have beef with IFG. According to Street News, a group of Rolling 60s members went to a memorial for an IFG member and kicked over the candles. Capone then responded by spray painting all over the Nipsey Hussle mural and tagging his own name so that everyone would know it was him. Nipsey's friend Cowboy made a video where he called out the disrespect of Nipsey and told the Bloods that they needed to beat Capone for what he did to the mural. But Capone only doubled down on the disrespect and continued to clown Cowboy and Nipsey. Alright, I bet you gonna change your name today, I bet you that y'all need to y'all need to beat that right now before the homies mine up and and, and, and come do some dumb behind this dumb ass, bro. You feel me? This is when Indian Red Boy and other members of IFG got involved to back up their homie and disrespect the ops. Not long after, Indian Red Boy was sitting in a parked car in the Hawthorne neighborhood of Los Angeles laughing with Capone on Instagram. While they are talking, you can hear multiple gunshots going off in the background and suddenly, Indian Red Boy is gasping for air. Capone asks him where he is and Indian Red can barely make out the words Hawthorne before passing away. Because the defacing of the mural brought so much attention to the two of them, many assume that the shooting was payback for Indian Red Boy, co-signing the disrespect of Nipsey. But there's another popular theory that the murder actually had nothing to do with the mural. Indian Red Boy wasn't always a member of IFG. He used to rep Hollywood Power Rule from Compton before switching hoods. 
He allegedly left on bad terms, and it was his own people who took him out. His brother has suggested that Indian Red was actually set up by three men and a female. He doesn't say who it was or why they did it, but he does promise his brother that they will get revenge. Whatever happened, it's a tragic story, but Indian Red should have known not to let his guard down when he's already got so much beef in the city. 